Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm coming to you with an update on using up my scrap kits. All right, so if you watched my video yesterday that I posted on using up scraps, I had um, talked about um, cleaning out my stash and finding kits that were just basically scraps left over and what did I want to do with them. So um, that video, believe it or not, was filmed way back in October. And then I had some medical issues in October, multiple um, compounding on top of each other and causing a lot of grief. And so I had gotten a start on what I said I was going to do. And then um, my life changed and I had to um, move forward. And at some point, I think I uh, got back to scrapbooking and realized I had agreed to teach some classes in December. I had Vicki Booten's Evergreen and Holly uh, workshop coming up and I had just taken all of this stuff that I had said I was going to do off my desk, put it in a box and shoved it in a closet. So then if you had watched any of my, uh, what do they call? Oh, Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches and Calvin Ball Layout uh, Adventures, that is where I got led back kind of to this was because during the month of October when I had started doing this, I was using Christie's sketches from 30 Days of Sketches to um, use up some of my scraps. And so when I was doing that and I uh, had some layouts already started, it led me back to this anyways. So that was this layout that kind of took me back there. And that reminded me that I had this whole stack of things that I needed to deal with, plus this already recorded video. And I thought, you know what, I need to get back on that because the idea was to use it or lose it. So I better use it, right? Um, okay, so where am I at now? Well, let's see. So I told you guys that I was going to find new homes for my leftover embellishments, which I did. And I told you I was going to get rid of my scrap box, which I did. Um, I told you that I was gonna do some fussy cutting and then um, put those fussy cut elements away into kits, which I did. I told you I was going to file away my cardstock scraps, and I did. And then I said I was going to make Christmas cards, which I did not. So no Christmas cards were made in this house for the holiday season. I failed at a lot of Christmas stuff this year because of my health issues. So this is just one of the many. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to go with this at the moment. I'm just going to set it aside. I just wanted to own up and say, nope, that did not happen. Okay. So then the other thing, oops, now I'm throwing stuff on the floor. Great. Okay. So the other thing was I had these 11, um, kits that were basically just scraps right so I was like okay well can I use them or can I not and I got rid of some and I kept some and I decided the ones I kept needed to turn into layouts and go into some albums so that I can get rid of these kits out of my boxes because they were just really stacking up and uh, taking up space that I could be replacing with new more exciting stuff right which I actually, it didn't clear up enough space to get new stuff. So here we are. Um, okay, so this was the one that I was like, I had pulled it for this round of 30 Days of Sketches and used it in my videos for Calvin Ball. And I added photos and all of that. The other layouts that I had put together from here um, for these kits are just um, what I would call base pages. They're uh, pages that have no photos or journaling or anything on them. So they're like a start of a page kind of a thing. So let's just start with this one that I finished the layout from because that's the only completed layout from this whole hot mess. Um, so I still have some letter stickers I'll need to decide about. I have one. Okay. So we already talked about this sketch in one of my videos. 
and it was from the October version of 30 Days of Sketches. This is what I have left of the paper, I believe. Um, this was the day five sketch from October, and it was by Scrap a Sketch, Lisa Sikorsky. And so that's that one. Um, and it turned out pretty cool. So it's like you, like I said, like I don't have any, um, what do you call it? Like photos or anything on here, right? So no journaling. I don't even know what album this is going, going in. I just made the pages in the hopes that that would be a good thing. We shall see. Um, and I got the idea of making base pages from Janet Madison over on Patreon. She has lots of content on YouTube as well. I'll link both of her things below as well as Christie's uh, 30 Days of Sketches. There is 11 series now of 30 Days of Sketches. So that's a lot of sketches to go look for. Even if you don't want to play along necessarily, you just want the sketches. They're in her Facebook group. So I'll link that below too. This is the other one I did, and this is based off of this sketch by Maggie, Crafty Maggie, here on YouTube, and that was from the October version of 30 Days of Sketches as well. She did florals, I did hexagons. And, okay, so that's what I got out of this, um, what's it called, Basic Gray Hipster, I believe, was the name of the kit. Yeah. So that is all I, I got one. Two, three layouts out of that. So when I did this, I was kind of thinking like one or two layouts out of each kit. I'm surprised at how many layouts I got out of here. Okay, so um, this I feel like I can let go of. There's not enough here to hang on to. Um, and these, I don't know, um, let me see. My criteria is always the vowels. A, uh, no E's, no I's. Oh, there's an I right there. O, U. There's quite a bit of the orange. I might cut the blue one off and find another home for the orange one. Um, I'm not sure I would use this anywhere else. So I'll probably get rid of that as well. So that is, there's no paper left in this paper pad at all. It's just the scraps that I have here. So I think I can let go of that. And <clears throat> that's in my to-go kit. <laughs> it must go. And then I'm going to um, put these into a pile. Um, this is going to go in my layouts to put away. I was going to put it away last month, but thought I would keep it out for the purposes of this video. And it's taken me weeks to get here. So here we are. And um, these ones are going to go in a separate pile for um, layouts that need photos and journaling. So there we have it. Now, Oh, did I have more things? Oh, just this number four and letter H. Okay, so that was all that was left of the embellishment pack. Was that, and I don't even think those were original embellishments. I think they were cut apart. So I think I used everything that was in here. And uh, yeah. Um, but I think my date might have come off on here because that is actually, oh no, I. That was the first one I did and I didn't like how it turned out so I re redid it. Get all these little bits out of here. These blue stickers were a nightmare for me. <laughs> they kept falling off. Ugh. Okay. That's done. Okay, there's the packaging. That needs to get put away. This I can recycle inside part. There we go. That and the packaging. Okay, and the next one was this. I think this is Fancy Pants. Yes, it is. Fancy Pants Goodfellows collection. I did not have much left of it, but I did have some embellishments. So packaging. Uh, 
I got one layout out of those scraps and grandpa is my friend too cute I know exactly what pictures are going on here so that's in my um, pile of layouts that needs to get photos and journaling on it and then I have some leftover embellishments that need a new home so I will take those to my masculine box and find some homes for them okay and then I had this one which was a boys collection from Echo Park I believe yeah Lori Whitlock and I used up all the stickers which makes me really happy and all of the like big alphas ended up on the pages and all I was left with is these two little alphas now I might cut this one out and keep it or maybe both of them because you can substitute because they're the same size and same font just different colors and uh, find a home for those but like this is done this is done this is done and this is done so I will put those in the trash and find a home for those ones that are left over and packaging needs to go and then I got one two three layouts out of that so here's where I used up all of those larger alphas and a lot of the smaller ones as well actually so pretty pretty um, easy way to use them up just to distribute them onto a page and uh, yeah so fun right and then numbers are always good as a border and look here's another way that I used up those alphas the blue ones was I used them as a border strip and just didn't put them in any actual order. Just mixed them all up and got them on a page. Um, another five, six, seven, eight, nine. Anytime you put uh, numbers, no, 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 can't talk. Uh, numbers in numerical order, um, it's pleasing to the eye. So there you go. So three out of that one, and again, I didn't. I I was thinking like maybe one or two. So getting three is good, but I think um, had I not done that thing with the alphabets, um, I probably wouldn't have gotten three out of that. This uh, gnome gardening one, I think this was from. I want to say photo play, maybe. Yep, yeah, photo play. I used all of the sticker sheet. So that's garbage. I made two layouts, I think. I thought I'd get one, but I got two. And they're both really cute. One is our hive, and it's all about being at home. Gnome is where my honeybee. I think that's so cute. And then um, happy just because. So I thought that was cute too. Those are going to go into the uh, need photos pile and then because I had some really cute sentiments and stuff left I made some cards with these because I felt like they were um, more card sentiments than um, like li on layouts so I made a, a few cards one you're a keeper happy B day two and will you be my honey three so Valentine's friendship and birthday so three cute little cards set those aside they need to go I have a box where I keep cards that I haven't um, used yet they will that will they will go in there packaging now it looks like I have a couple of elements left over that I can either use on these layouts or I can recycle or like find new homes for is what I mean by that and then I have also some stickers here hang on and all I'm going to do with these is I'm going to cut them and 
then I will find another boy kit that has these colors and add them to that. And this is garbage because it is empty. So, hang on, I'm just having some pop-ups on my computer while I'm recording. That's so annoying. Okay, um, I got out of that one and I thought maybe one layout because I didn't seem to have a lot of paper, but I got three. Can you believe that? So, uh, Playtime Adventure. It's this robot one with a wood grain background. This one I did a bow bunny double dot background with the ledger paper and it is Brave Wild Guy and I just tried to use what was in the um, embellishments to make my titles too because I didn't have much in the way of alphas for that one. Um, and this one says My Brother hero and friend this is this boy you're funny my guy silly charming noisy loud cool lovable quirky and unique so I thought this would be kind of cute as a like brother sister layout for my grandkids because uh, she really adores her big brother and this is another bow bunny double dot in orange so three out of that one and hexagons Punching hexagons to like make a background is a really good way to use like weirdly sh shaped scraps because this one, I don't know if you recall, but from the video yesterday, but it was, um, I had used this paper and cut the circles out of the paper. And so the scrap I had left wasn't like a six by 12 or something. It was like a super weird looking, um, scrap. And so I punched hexagons out of it and then even just some like edge pieces and stuff. And was able to make that kind of a diagonal background so it didn't take much paper to do that but I got the, those embellishments used up right I always seem to have more embellishments left at the end I'm, I'm not sure why interesting thing to know about myself though now this goes way back to when I did product focus of alphas and numbers that might be fun to try again I could probably do some using up of those. And um, I made this uh, circle with some leftover numbers and then threw it in this kit because it matched the colors. And then, yeah, so um, I was able to get a layout out of that, which turned out really cute. And it would be great for a little boy layout, don't you think? So one, okay, I did not think I would get so much out of this. Two, three, four, five. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I was trying not to do that, but sometimes it can't be helped. Okay, so I made this one, look at me, and I think it turned out pretty good. And then this one with the yo-yos, stay wild, sweet child. I think that could be for either a boy or a girl. And this one says, game night, bring it. Here comes trouble. We do lots of game nights in our house, so th that'll be easy to put together. Um, play all day. That's a good one for those grandbabies. They're very busy. Rough and tough. Good boy layout there. And these ones I just fussy cut some of the elements and then popped them up so that they're like leading off this strip onto the page and I really like how that turned out. Um, not much in the way of alphabet left but I'll probably cut this out and find it a new home and the, that, the rest of that can go in the garbage and I completely used up this sticker sheet which is awesome. Okay so how many kits is that so far? One, two, three, four, five, six kits so far. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, good to know. So, this one was the, it was like a close to my heart um, workshop kit that I had some leftovers from. And then I had added a basic gray sticker sheet that had matched with it. 
and this is all that I have left so I used almost all the stickers I have this sticker here and then I have this little tiny sticker here and this is all the paper that I have left so this can go in the recycling don't need that and then this can go um, I probably cut those elements out and find them a new kit to go into because scrapbooking supplies are expensive I don't like to throw out my embellishments if I if I still think they're usable and I like them still okay so I got one two three layouts out of that so that's pretty good considering this was a workshop kit so it really only came with what I needed to finish that workshop so um, but you know what I think happened with this one I'm remembering this now I had cut these the wrong size for that workshop and so I kept them and thought well I can use them on a different layout and then got another sheet of paper and cut them the right size so I did actually add a sheet of paper to this plus that sticker sheet which put the embellishments to go a lot longer of a way right so there's that so yeah this one love I used the stickers from that basic gray as an element almost to make like my own background paper and then this the stickers were white but I colored them to match with the turquoise color on here and then this one um, doesn't really have a title yet but it has all the other elements on there and then same with this one no real title because I didn't have <clears throat> more than one title in there but I had all the papers and embellishments to make a layout so these ones need photos journaling and a title and that's okay oh this is something different that's why I'm like I didn't do nine kits no I did seven so I got seven of those kits um, turned into um, what do we want to call them like well, I guess they're layouts. They're just not finished, right? Unfinished layouts, unfinished projects. And I got some cards out of there. Okay. So I'm going to set these ones aside and show you um, Okay. So I have these need to get put away. I have this completely untouched from October when I last did it. So that that what you just saw was where the wheels fell off the bus. There, that none, none of the others have layouts or cards or anything made out of them. This one has like a circle thrown in it and it's actually two kits. So at some point this one got tossed in there and landed in this bag. Um, so I have three completely untouched kits still from that. So, um, there's that okay I'm gonna just set these back because there's nothing really to show except that I didn't get to that just like my cards right now the next thing that happened was um, I went to a crop on Saturday I did uh, scrapbook live in the morning with Alice bowl from scrap happy she does some free things on her website so go check her out scraphappy.org. I'll link it below she also has a paid membership group if you love um, having an online community to be a part of and sharing your ideas and learning and one-stop shop for all of those things um, Alice's community is very very sweet and I do enjoy um, joining in every once in a while when I can okay so this was the other one it was uh, kind of farm themed jelly bean soup and then I had thrown in some summer papers that kind of coordinated and so on Saturday when I was on um, scrapbook live with Alice I started out creating a base page um, and I went ahead and grabbed I have this little stack of um, Chrissy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches because that also was left unfinished. Anybody seeing a theme? <laughs> I start things that I don't finish. Ah, la la. Okay, well, um, I hope I'm not alone, but um, don't laugh at me. Laugh with me, okay? So I have this stack of unfinished sketches from 30 Days of Sketches that I didn't get to. 
And I thought, well, I can use those maybe for some of these fun uh, packages. And so that particular morning, I worked on, let me see if I can find it, this one. And I created this base page during the Scrap Happy Live. And it was based off of this sketch by, uh, I don't know who, I can't read it. Um, yeah, sorry, I'll have to look it up. Um, but it was from series 11 from March and that was where I got my idea from. And I think it turned out okay. I only had one scrap big enough to fill this circle, so that is what I used. And um, I fussy cut these little balloons out of some of the paper. And yeah, so that was one <coughs> that I did. And then that afternoon, Saturday afternoon, I went to a crop and I started working on more of these sketches. So I did this one based off of this sketch by Devra Hunt. Uh, I think, yeah, I think that's right. I'm like, am I second guessing myself? That is, no, this is from series 11. Oh yeah, series 11, okay. Um, I really like how this one turned out, it's super cute. Can't wait to print some photos for it. And then this one was supposed to be a double pager, but I didn't um, make it a double pager because I wasn't sure if I had what I needed to do that. So I just made one, I made the right hand page of it and I love how it turned out. It has a title and a spot for my journaling. I don't know what I'm gonna put on here, but it's super cute. And so that goes with that. I did this one. Guys, I grabbed some, <laughs> I grabbed some like white cardstock from my cardstock box. Like I have like a, it's like an old magazine holder, you know, those plastic ones from Staples. And it holds my white eight and a half by 11 cardstock that I buy. And on the one end of it is like a little bit of cream cardstock. And then this cardstock, which is like, I know you can't really see it on there, but it's a shimmer cardstock. <laughs> That's all I had with me. I'm like, I have shimmer cardstock. So I have shimmer uh, backgrounds there for my photo mats. I did find a little bit extra of 12 by 12 white cardstock in my bag. So there is some that are not shimmery, but I just thought that was really funny. I'm like, I can't believe I did that. Didn't even look. Um, so this was another one. This one is based off of this day 29 sketch from the March sketches by Jessica Fen Hill. And I think that turned out pretty cute. I had these giant letters in here. Just wait. I used a bunch of them. I had a lot left over. I have an idea. Okay. And then this one also from the March sketches. Uh, this one is by, I don't know who I did not write it down fail. Anyway, that was the day 26 sketch. So that's really fun. And uh, I didn't have to do much to this one because the paper is really busy, like the background paper. So, but I think that that's okay because it'll just let that one single photo stand out. <clears throat> no idea what pictures I'm going to put, but I don't think I'll have trouble finding photos for my layouts. This one I ran out of O's, so I used a flower and I like how that turned out too. I might go around this in white uh, gel pen just to make the letters stand out a bit. I did ink them and I think I like you can tell what it says, but I don't know, I might like it better with white. And so that one was super simple um, and I liked how that was. And I think this is meant to be journaling, but I used some of my paper strips up because I had a lot. So there's that. I did this one after I got home from the um, crop. Uh, actually, the next day, because I came home from the crop Saturday night, went to bed, worked all day Sunday, and then after work, I threw this one together. It was This stuff was sitting on my desk because I had been looking at what I had done. And yeah, I threw this, this one together. It's a little bit more basic. It's not uh, embellished or anything. And this one. So there's those. 
And then I still have quite a lot of embellishments, so they will need homes. I might um, do some hexagon punching with these and crank out one more layout. I might also, because I have some longer strips, I might do some like make a border or something out of some strips because I have a lot of those instead of throwing these all away. I think this is still a lot for me. It is anyways. So I will probably punch some shapes and do uh, at least one more layout out of that. And I also still have um, these strips, uh, these stickers. So I still have one, two, three sticker titles. I have some alphas. I have a few of these, a few word strips. I still have these cute circles and this beautiful floral frame and some enamel dots. So I do feel like I could easily get something out of that. Okay. Now, like I said, I had these giant alphas and I did make some titles, but I had this idea last night and I got started picking out the letters and stuff and decided I better go to bed because I had to work in the morning. So there is this and oh my gosh, I think this is going to make such a cute layout, don't you? So I just took a bright colored paper. I'm just going to like put all the letters on here willy nilly. Um, I did kind of do a rainbow order to make them look nice and I also kind of did a loose um, like look around to make sure it wasn't spelling anything especially anything inappropriate because um, that's always a worry for me. Um, my kids love to point out when I <laughs> do weird things in my scrapbooks. Anyway, because they're boys. They like to make fun of stuff they don't understand. Um, and then I thought the photos would go here. So I think that will be really cute in the end. So maybe I'll come back tomorrow and do that with you guys because I know I won't have time tonight. I'm actually supposed to go pick up my husband from work right away. Shh. Um, I'm going to be late because I'm making a video for you guys. And um, yeah, he can wait. So I think maybe I'll come back and do that with you guys. That might be fun, hey? Using those alphas because they're so super cute and they're beautiful patterns. There's no reason to just let them go. Now I had also thrown in there this pack of, if you go back on my channel to my Thrifty Thursday videos, I went on a thrift shopping trip with one of my friends back in March. And one of the things I found in the bundles I bought were these already pre-done layouts. So I just threw these in here because I figured they can go in the stack of this needs uh, photos, journaling, and a title. <coughs> this, I think, was supposed to be a two-page layout, but I think I'm just going to do it as two separate layouts for two different albums. There we go. In frame? Yes. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, this was in there too, already done like this. So needs photos, title, journaling, and embellishing. And this one too, this one just needs photos, title, and journaling. So I wanted to add those in there just because I thought it's, excuse me, it's easier to just um, like batch do that instead of one at a time. So that is what I'm going to do. Those are going with my layouts that need finishing, almost finished layouts. And I threw this one in there because I had worked on some layouts for a class at my local scrapbook store. And when I got to the end, I had all these really pretty scraps. And so I made some base pages that didn't, that I didn't have time to find photos, etc. for. So like this one needs title, photos, journaling. This ne needs um, journaling and photos. And I have ideas of what photos I want to use. I just don't, I didn't have them printed and it just was not a time where I could go and look for those. So I have, um, also I have these left over from that. 
uh, class. So they either need to find a new home or go on these two layouts. So I think some of them will go on the layouts and some of them I will have to find new homes for. So there is that. And that was all done with this Simple Stories Pet Shop collection. So this can go with the packaging. Packaging. And this can recycle because it's that thin, shiny paper. It's not a cardstock piece. Otherwise, I would keep it and use it. And yeah, so that is where I'm at. I think, yeah, I think I'll come back tomorrow and work with you guys on that alphabet layout. And then maybe talk about my plans for uh, what else is left that I haven't dealt with, right? So um, I have a bunch of layouts now that need uh, photos, journaling, and some of them need titles too, and some of them need embellishments. I have, um, I have a bunch of cards that need to get put away, or not a bunch, but a couple of cards that need to get put away. I have some embellishments that need new homes. I have um, three kits. I think. Um, yeah, one, two. Oh, yeah. One, two, three kits that still haven't had anything done with them. Am I going to purge these? Am I going to make layouts with these? What am I going to do? I still have also my Christmas um, Christmas stuff. I need to decide what to do with that. So yeah, I have a lot of um, follow-up decisions to make. It look like I it looks like I've made a pretty good dent, right? Like I have. It'll feel very satisfying to put pictures and photos into Alb. Sorry pictures and journaling onto those layouts and put those layouts into albums. It'll feel very satisfying because I got an awful lot of layouts out of those scraps. Don't you think? Like, I'm kind of impressed with myself if I'm being totally honest because I, I thought maybe I would get like what, 11, um, sorry, just reaching. I, 11 layouts because I had 11 kits, right? And I have still three kits left, uh, four if you count that unfinished one that I'm talking about using my alphabets with, not counting these pre-done layouts that I got at a thrift shop. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27 layouts that need stuff, 28, this is 28. So already with only eight of those packs, I have 20 layouts, 20 plus layouts. That's amazing. Out of just those small scraps, that just goes to show um, how far we can stretch our stash, right? And um, with the price of paper right now, and I, I, I have sticker shock, I swear, every time I walk into the craft store. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is the way to go. I mean, if I'm being totally honest and I never bought another piece of paper for the rest of my life, I could probably still scrapbook every day and never run out. But um, as we all know, they make new pretty paper and I want new pretty paper. So let's make some space for that pretty paper and let's fill our albums with beautiful things. So thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for today. And um, I think I said that already. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you have a question or comment, just leave it down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.